Well, we have indeed. We've managed to find our leopard, little Tundi. So she's got a big yawn. And I don't know where little Tumba is, but he was. she was calling and he was somewhere around here. There's a bush buck that's alarm calling. And hopefully she's not going to drag us through this because it's going to be really tough to find her. But luckily we found the tracks and... It was quite quick and easy to actually find Tundi. Now, hopefully, like I say, Tumba is going to be around here too. But this is going to be a tough, tough, tough off-roading section because this is not very pleasant in here. And this is going to be not easy. And hopefully, we won't have another vehicle <laughs> with a damaged steering rod although Byron's vehicle will be fine it's exactly what happened to us the other day when we were following oh, there's little Tumba hello big boy look at you You're hiding on top of the termite mound yeah, he loves a termite man, doesn't he Ferg? now you can see just how difficult it is to actually see a leopard but there he is you can just see him through the thickets hello big boy now Tundi's walked off a little bit, so hopefully Tumba will be a lot more visible. Ferg, I think let's try go around, because on the other side of that mound looks nice and open, and I think it's going to be much easier for us to see him. Where he is now, at the moment, is so dense, as you can see, it's just a clump of bushes. So let's try the other side, Ferg. It looks like it's going to be nice and open there. I just need to also update Tax, because Tax was in this area with me. Yeah, Tax, I've got them both here. One, my daughter is just on top of a termite mount. She's mobile now, northwards. Um, it's my cool Latino. Uh, we're on the western side of Mulawati. So I'm just trying to see if I can't get round and get find exactly oh, a way to back towards that termite mount. I don't know where Tundi went from here. It's nice and open here, so it would have been nice if she had decided to go onto this termite mount, or if he had decided to go onto this termite mount. But I would imagine she's not too far, and if we stick with little Tumba, we should be able to find Tundi again, because Tumba is going to try and follow his mom, that's for sure. I'm just trying to get round through here. Careful there, Ferg. There's a few low-lying hazardous objects that might come your way. Uh, Tux, I think your best bet is to actually come towards those pans south of Chelapan. Um, you're going to be able to access much better from there than from the Mulawati. Ah, so there's Tundi. So she's just walking past the back of the car. And this is so interesting to see how far she's actually going into Juma these days. I mean, she's come right up. We're near Chelapan now, which is a lot further north than I've ever known Tundi to go. And so it almost looks like she's starting to take over where Karula was and start to move in. And there comes little Tumba trotting away, as he always does. And it's interesting just to see the size of this guy's paws because his tracks look like a big male these days. It's quite interesting because Taxon was saying to me, am I sure... This is Tundi and Tumba because the track that they saw was for a rather large male. And, well, little Tumba's feet are getting so big these days that he is looking like a large male. So it's really interesting to see how big his feet are. Now, hopefully, they're going to come out into the open. We've got a beautiful open section here that they're going to be hopefully moving towards. I can see her right there. Hello, Tundi. But this is very interesting, and I'm keen to see just how far she goes during the course of today, because it looks like she's pressing further and further north, which means that we could potentially actually see her even arriving on the dam cam. The next sort of road up from where we are is Vuyatela Dam, and so that is very far north for Tandis, much further than I would ever thought she would have gone as quickly as this. So, Amy, you're wondering how long is it, does it, well, is Tumba going to stay with Tundi? Well, that's a, a variable that we don't know. It depends on the individual female. Some females are a little bit more sort of tolerant than others. Now, she is going to come. I know, thank you. Um, so, it's just somebody just telling us that there's a female and a male, which evidently we know already. Um, but it depends on the, on the mother. Some mothers will be able to 
well, will tolerate their young ones a lot more than others, and some will be a lot less tolerant and will chase them away. But generally, the average period is between 14 months and two years is the normal sort of time frame in terms of leaving their cubs and letting them go off their own. Hello, my girl. She is the coolest leopard. I'm so happy to see her again. If you stick around, Tandy, I'm going to be a very happy man because you really are a beautiful cat. And look at that. Now, little Tumba is somewhere on my right-hand side. In fact, he's going to pop out on the road shortly. He's just sitting on the edge watching Mom walk along. But this is so cool. There he comes. Hello, beautiful boy. Yes, you are getting big. He's got such a stocky sort of look about him. He's, he's quite short, but his, everything about him is muscular. And you can see the attention span of a squirrel as well. Everywhere he goes, he just has to look at things and watch things. And this is all new for him. Remember, Tumba has never really been up this far. He doesn't know this area at all. So that's why he's probably watching everything. What is this new place mom is taking me to? Why, what is going on? Where is the, like, what is happening in this area? And where am I going? And what am I seeing? It's all that kind of new syndrome that he's got. And so he's like a naughty little child that wants to investigate everything at this stage. But how cool? So cool. I ex can't be happier when you see things like this. And so we lucky Byron managed to find what we were looking for this morning. <laughs> now I see he's trotting into the bush after mom. So she's still moving. And now we're going into the Bermuda Triangle for lions. So some of you that may remember, and for those of you that weren't watching a few weeks ago, Jamie, myself, and James had an absolute nightmare with lions that went in here. We had a mating pair as well as a male lion that went in here. And all of us struggled to find them in here, sort of in the, the following drives. And so hopefully Tandy and Tumba don't pull a disappearing act as well as we try and negotiate the this horrible thicket that we're going to go through and uh, now where did they go I th thought I saw them going just straight now there's a termite mound so maybe little Tumba will go up the mound for us and we'll be able to see them again ah there they are I can see them heading straight towards said mounds Ferg so that's Tundi in front that's striding and as long as we kind of see Tundi we'll be able to stick up with Tumba. There we go. Tumba up his termite mount as is normal. There we go. Hello oh boy, are you investigating termite mounts? And you can see once again, he's doing what we saw yesterday. Looking in all the trees, he's hopeful mom is taking him to a carcass. That's why he keeps going to the trees, looking up. He thinks that the way that mom is striding and, and moving, that potentially there's food for him somewhere. You are beautiful. Sure. So, James, oh, there we go. What are you chasing up there? I think he's chasing birds. <laughs> this little leopard is such a character. Oh, no, decided down we go. Now, James, you wondering whether or not you th I think that Tundi will shift her entire territory into this area, or is she going to just take a portion of it and keep her the rest of her territory that she currently has. I don't think she's going to shift her territory too much. She might shift further north and sacrifice a little bit of the sort of um, eastern and, and southern sections, particularly if there's pressure from Kuchava, her daughter, as well as Inkanyeni. She might then just shift it a little bit north. So what I think is going to happen is she's going to expand this territory, and her territory effectively is going to get larger rather than actually moving it out. And when she starts to get pressure from younger leopards from the south, that might push her to come back down into, well, come up into this area and head further north. But she's definitely making big strides into this northern section. She's right in the heart of where Karula was. This is where Karula used to hang around. Chelapan was sort of Karula's stronghold and then northwards. And it seems like she's now actually heading a little bit to the um, the west as well, which would be right towards Weaver's Nest and, and those areas, which we know was Karula's stronghold for quite a while. Now, I've put myself into a boxed into a corner here, so I'm going to try and just get back. Right. Now, we're going to try and get ourselves out of this mess that I've gotten us into because we're surrounded by trees at this stage. And so while I do that, let's go to Jamie, who's got another predator to add to this morning.